Comfy, my. I don't want my nipple to pop out. Are you okay? Is it comfortable enough for you? Yeah, I think so. All right, cool. Let's do it. But uh, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Think It With a Pump. If y'all seen the vlog this time, we in fact did not get the pump. I do have a little pump because we raced. Yeah, and I strained my quad. <laughs> yeah, <you> sure <laughs> did. Sure do. You want to tell them about that? Um, Since we're just jumping I, right into it, I want your opinion. So, yeah, if y'all seen the vlog, y'all okay. seen the results. So we can talk about it now. Finally, do you have, this is um, I think we're like two, three episodes uh, in front ahead right now. Yeah, I just want to post a clip right now. I know. Oh, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. <laughs> talk uh, about it. Tell them what happened. Uh, give give your um, give, give your, I don't know. How how do you think it'd go? Um. I mean, it went it, it went how I imagined, dude. Get racing g- g- gives me it gets me so anxious, bro. I don't know why. Like right before you have to take off, I'm like, oh, you have to exert so much energy, like sprint. Me too. Um, my heart was kind of pumping when we were at the store in the line. Yeah. I don't lie, because you're like don't want to lose, <sighs> and it's just like you everything like you can't delay anything. Like yeah, like it's a sixty yard dash, and yeah, no, we just Yolo did on the on the turf. We did on the turf field right by right behind where we're at actually um and yeah we did we had one race i don't know if it's gonna make the actual between the sets vlog but our first race i delayed i I was delayed off the bat and brody just took flight and i was gonna try to catch him and i was like no so we had to run it back we ran we raced again and same result just we took off at the same time i I won Okay. I won. If anyone doubted me for a second, you're an idiot. No, you're not. I'm sorry. I didn't it mean that. It was close. I think it was close. <laughs> no, um, I don't know yeah. what the. F- I didn't actually see the the finish line cam in slow mo, but it, it. I must have look what like. He wasn't too far behind. Honestly, point two seconds maybe. You did better than I thought. Did you want to be honest? Yeah. Oh, so so the first me this one off camera. The first one I jumped off the line so fast. It, I I didn't cheat. It. Luke was just late. Okay, I wasn't Tell early. Tell me about it. But. I beat him by maybe three or four steps. Also, also you kind of gave up at the end. So I was like, that didn't even feel right. I was like, okay, never mind. No, we're running it back. We're getting a, we're getting a, a solid start. And then I looked back at the second race, the official race, and our timing when we took off the line was perfect. I yep. mean perfect. Yep. To, the, to the exact millisecond we took off at the same time. Yeah. So there's really no excuses there. No. But I knew I had you. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a speedster. I'm a speedster who always was a fast guy. Um, so anybody out there that is watching this wants to take me in a foot race, um, be my guest. Embarrass yourself. Okay? We could throw a wager on it. It's fine. Brody's pretty quick. I'll be honest. I don't know. That's like uh, one thing I'm confident in. Now, yeah. I'm, I'm not the fastest guy around, but at the same I mean, time, I'd give a lot of people a work for, for their money. you got to remember, like, we're people that don't run. Like, I don't ever run. Like, ever. We don't sprint. We didn't practice before this. At least I didn't. Um... I've always just been fast growing up, and I just had, like, I don't know, dumb speed for mm-hmm. no reason. So that's why I was, like, cocky. I was like, I'm going to beat him. Because if he's not practicing, then maybe I had, I had a chance. I almost did, in a sense. If he was slightly slower, I would have won. Yeah, that's how you races work. I mean? <laughs> that's how races work. Yeah, I mean, you didn't if you, dust hey, me. Hey, if you were slightly faster, you would have won. Yeah. If, <laughs> it's true. If I was slight, I, it honestly, could have just been the day. Could have been the day. Yeah, no. Maybe but, we, we could run it back if you want. Yeah. Or... Guys, let us know what competition y'all want to see next. Because, honestly, the whole time, I thought I had an advantage on Luke. So, maybe we could have a competition that you might have a slight advantage. I don't know what it would be besides lifting. Now, you would give me in anything lifting. Uh, yeah. Like I said, besides calisthenics. But. Calisthenics. Do like a. Uh, you'd probably win a Ninja Warrior course. You were, we already did that, actually. At like the Arnold. You didn't do whatever. bad, though. You no. Should. No, I got. I'm pretty good. Ninja Warrior. I probably don't look like it, but I could swing. I could catch myself. Huh. We should do that. We should. Do they have Ninja Warrior gyms around. Uh, I don't think too much here, but like in the Texas area. Yeah. If we if That'd we were fun. ever if we're ever around, shoes on the couch. Really? <laughs> I'm trying to get comfy, man. Shoes on the couch. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. My couch, by the way, guys. We're uh, we're Yo. still in Louisiana. 
At the there we go. There we go. Air them puppies out. Get so easy. Smell it from here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only bought one pair of shoes, man. But uh yeah, guys, for you for you guys listening, uh Luke's still in Louisiana. He leaves later tonight. Yep. But tonight. um before I uh, I'm gonna talk about your experience here. But I just want to say, guys, if you want to see any competitions, us go head to head. I thought that was interesting. I thought it was fun. It was something different for for the vlog, and honestly, it was a cool t- cool time. So yeah, it was we, fun. We haven't seen the full video put together, but I think it's gonna be a good vlog. Because yeah. at the beginning of that, going into you know experiencing Louisiana a little, I think it's gonna make the vlog. But we shot guns. I shot gun for the first time, man. Well, in Jersey, man, it's not easy. Like, you got to have permits, and you got to, like, go to an actual shooting range, like an indoor one. I mean, I'm sure there's outdoor shooting ranges and shit, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But, like, it was just a lot easier here, man. I pull up, and the homies had – the homies were strapped, man. (laughs) So we just pull up to, like – I mean, where Brody lives – where Brody's located now, you can't just go in a backyard and shoot. But, like, he had a friend that lived maybe, you know, 15 minutes, wherever the hell – more in like what kind of area would you call that yeah so now i live in the city uh my parents house and where my uh, friend lives that we went shoot the guns it's i don't know what it's considered is it considered or like anyway it's the back roads <laughs> it's, it's like the back <laughs> roads right it's like a one one way highway type yep. town um yep. everybody has like big backyards Middle and behind the backyards is swamp there's no there's no like public buildings anything like that anywhere's near right i, t- I tell it a lot like in my hometown we don't have a gas station. We don't have a grocery store. So it's That's like wild. just houses, backyards, a lot of land. Everybody sitting on a pretty good bit of land. I mean, depending on um, where you're at. But like behind my house and behind my friend's house that we were shooting, he has a big backyard. And then it's just we have a canal, we have levees, and then we got swamp. So we're able to just freely shoot. And your boys took care of me. Brody's got some good friends, man. Um, so we pull up to their house. It's just like, again, middle of nowhere. If you're from like the city, if you live like in Jersey or anywhere like that's super populated, you know what I mean by middle of nowhere. It's not the middle of nowhere, but it was like, you know, pull up someone's house, um, big backyards, goes far back, then there's woods. And then before we went shooting, everyone kind of met up in the backyard, laid out their stuff. Colin pulled up. He had a shoddy. Um, I think one of the homies had two ARs, had like a hunting rifle with a scope. Um, I forget the name. Yeah, I think total we had four pistols, two AORs, a hunting rifle, a shotgun. Um, I think that was it. You can't get that. that you can't get that experience in Jersey, bro. Anywhere you go, that would have probably, probably cost an arm and a leg. Like you enjoyed yourself, dude. I enjoyed myself, man. That's it was fun. Hell Being yeah. able to just go in someone's backyard and not like I don't know, just get taught from like. People that grew up around guns, because yeah. that's just w- what a Louisiana is like. Buddy's house we had, uh, the, I mean, the buddy's house that we went to, um, he had his friend come. He brought, like, all the big guns. Big and um, he was like a he was like a shooting instructor that Dude. you would find at a gun range. Yes. He was super informative. Yep. He was teaching Luke exactly what to do. All of this was done, like, with safety in mind, okay? Of we course. just don't go out and just start, bl- like, shooting shit in the air. No. No, we had... A certain spot, he was giving Luke all the safety tips, everything he needed to know. We had ear protection. We were shooting in, um, like, a specified location. So nothing can go wrong unless no. you're very stupid with the with the, um, with the weapons. Of which course. we weren't. We were completely safe about it. I just want to throw that we're out We're all there. adults. We're yeah. all, like, you know, we weren't idiots. They didn't just get, hand me a gun. Yo, go rip it. Go rip it into the tree or something. Yeah. With, with the shotgun, we got to try to uh, shoot skeet. Yeah, what you thought that is like pretty cool. That was cool. Honestly, it was like playing the game, you know, like a the target the, practice. Yeah, the to- what, what is it actually with? It's like um, ducks or something. It's like duck shooting. Like they have that on the Wii we were playing. Yeah, the Wii Play. So I did that IRL except mm-hmm. with skeets, yeah. where they like fling it like a frisbee, and you gotta like trace it with the gun. And I, I missed every shot. Right, but it that is was your, close. It was his first time shooting. But that was your first time shooting a shotgun, huh? That was my first time shooting any gun. That's crazy. Yeah, and that was the first shot of the day, which was so intimidating. Which was like very like, I don't know, putting me first because I'm the guest. I'm from Jersey. All your friends like wanted me to have a good time, and you could see that and like genuine. And I was like, wow. Yeah. And they put, gave me. I think it wasn't a Glock. The first one was, I don't know the name of it. It was a lighter pistol. Didn't have a whole lot of re- recoil. And he hands me it with one bullet, and he's like, all right, shoot it. I'm like. Dude, I was, like, scared, dude. I've shot in BB guns, pellet guns, Nerf guns, <laughs> paintball guns. 
but I've never saw, shot something with an actual bullet. So that was intimidating. I had the earmuffs on. I'm like, a, I'm ADSing, aiming down sight. And I'm like, just like slowly pulling the trigger and it's boom. His, like, his first shot. I don't even know what happened. Like, you don't even know what happens because you're so used to, I'm so used to just growing up and seeing the bullet. Yeah. <laughs> because a BB gun, you can see the bullet. Nerf gun, you can see a bullet. An actual like gun is crazy, bro. I will say for the first time, you were a good shot. Besides the shotgun. Because, uh, I mean, obviously following the target midair is a lot tougher. Yeah, that's tough. So that just takes a little practice, a little getting used to. Yep. But for his first time, he was a good shot. I think his first ever ever shot with the pistol, you hit, like, right on the outside ring of the um, the bullseye. Yeah. And then when we were – it was the the AR. The AR, you hit – I think we shot 10 rounds. I think you went, like – I think four or five of them went like directly in the bullseye. Shit. So he's Shit, a pretty yeah. good shot, dude. I know, dude. I felt like I would be. I felt like I've held prop guns before, and I've ADS in video games, and I just felt like I knew what I was doing in a sense when it comes to like aiming. Um, so that didn't feel weird, but the recoil on guns is definitely like difficult. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. You don't just like you can't just keep you can't just keep uh, the red dot or the the aim on the target and expect just to be able to fire straight shots. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard. Like, it, the gun moves a lot, and yeah. you're just like... It's like Call of Duty. Got yeah, recoil. yeah, but that's a lot harder than Call of Duty, bro. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. I, you know what well, I mean? Like... Yeah, you know, 100%. 100%. 100%. I was about to say, I thought you said Dude, we'd be Navy SEALs, bro. Like, we could do <laughs> what we could do in video games in IRL, bro. Um, But, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. I felt like a proud dad because I was just watching him. He was, like, yeah. you know, having a good time, geeking out, smiling. Yeah, dude. He's, he's like, he, he's like he was a little kid badass dude so we had some crab beforehand oh true true yeah you got the trial board crabs i wish it was crawfish but at the same time damn so that's two things i didn't i didn't um get him to try it is the board crawfish and i didn't let him see an alligator that is one thing i did want to do coming to louisiana was really see an alligator yeah damn it's not a big deal. Yeah, if we had a little bit more time, I would say let's just go to my parents' house because they got a boat launch right by. It'd anyway, that, it'd be that easy. You think we'd really see one? You'd have to like look. It, it, good chance. Yeah, they're not just crawling everywhere yeah. or swimming everywhere. So, I mean, they they do be popping up, up though. So if you're like fishing by the boat launch, you'll see you'll see one or two. Shit. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Next but, time, um, next time, next time. I got you. Hell yeah. Sir. But um, also. Had to bring him to New Orleans. Had to show him Bourbon That's Street. That's right. What you thought the vibe of New Orleans? What is it? What you were expecting, or what, what you thought? It's probably exactly how I'd expect it. To be yeah. honest, yeah. It's a, that when we first pulled New Orleans, I didn't expect this city to be so city like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I never like been there. Never thought of going. I didn't look it up. You know, when you pull up to New Orleans. It's like pulling up to, I don't know, any any city. You know, that, but Bourbon Street specifically was, like, this narrow, like, one-way road that was, like, all blocked off. There's no cars going down it, but just a bunch of people. And then bars on each end. Just different bars. All different lights and shit. That's, that's how I imagined it, honestly. Yeah. Bourbon Street was what I pictured in my head when you were, like, hyping it up, being like, oh, we have to take you there. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it was pretty sick. Just people in the, people in the street acting crazy, turning up tourists every type of person you can imagine was there always man it just imagine when there's like something big going on no like for mardi gras no imagine how packed it would have been that has to be like shoulder to shoulder bro 100 percent. yeah like how do you even get in a bar <laughs> it's tough <laughs> yeah but there's just so many spots we didn't we didn't even know where to take we them. hardly yeah we we just scraped the surface that day that yeah, night we checked sure. out like we bar hopped for sure but at the same time nothing can there's probably like 50 more bars just on that road that we could have experienced. So, Oh, hundred percent. But, um, yeah, we, we took him to the spots that we knew how to get him a hand grenade. You'd only know if you know, if you know, you know, but, um, there was, there was only one thing I didn't, I totally forgot. Paddle Brian's, they have this signature drink called the hurricane <sighs> deadly and another deadly drink. I goofed. I goofed. I, I didn't even think about it at the time, but uh, regardless, we, we spent the night there. We enjoyed ourselves. It was a good time. I think you had a good time. So. I had a great time. <sighs> so, um, is there any spots like that in New Jersey that I haven't been to? I think I, I think you've taken me to all of them. You took me to AC. You took me to, was it, LBI? Yep. Those are like that. Yeah, down the shore. That's like equivalent in the sense of like, 
I don't know where I'm from going to like Seaside Heights. That's like an hour drive and where, where Brody stays an hour away was New Orleans. I mean, I guess it's not really comparable because it's a city and there's a, it's a beach, but like in the sense of like, um, I don't know, like, uh, like a hot spot, mm-hmm. I guess. I haven't took you to Seaside. Right. Uh, I've taken you down the shore. I haven't taken you to Seaside Heights, which is iconic because of the show. Yeah, that's what um, I was going to say because I grew up on Jersey Shore. I just never – only thing, only spot I haven't been to, I believe, is the boardwalk. Is that what you call it? The Seaside? Yeah, it's the boardwalk. boardwalk. Yeah. yeah. We haven't taken you to a boardwalk. You've been on – you've been on – you've been to Point Pleasant, I think. They have a, they have a boardwalk. Yeah. But, like, the, the iconic Seaside Height boardwalk where, like, a lot of the filming for the show was, you yeah, haven't taken you there yet. That's pretty sick. You got to see that. But it's nothing like you don't pull up at any 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 day and it's just like packed or something like that. You'd have to be on like it'd have to be in the summer, nice night, Saturday night, and then yeah, it'd be pretty popping. Yeah, it'd be pretty. We have fun. to check that out next yeah, time. Yeah, you yeah you have to come because there's good bars on. There's good fun bars you gotta check out that are just on the boardwalk. The the games, the beach is right there. Um, you can see the the Jersey Shore house. We'll take you there next time. If you come back in the summer. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to be back soon. Hell yeah. I don't know if it'll be by the end of this month, but probably August for sure. Yeah, we still got more. Yeah, exactly. You have all August. Especially. Yeah, y'all have an event going on. It's, yup. Am I coming to that? Or Darius, is that just Darius you? Darius Nutrition event. So I'm when, when this video comes out, yeah, it hasn't even happened yet probably, but um, Aries Nutrition is going to be hosting um, an event. They're just like a... Um, a s- so he has like about four stores. It's like an, it's like a, it's a supplement shop. So they carry a bunch of different brands, and I think he has like three or four locations in New Jersey. So he's gonna be hosting a little event. I think Noel's gonna be there. Uh, you could be there if you want to be. You just, might have, pop to, you by. just have to say yes. You just have to say yes, and you're on the poster appearance. board. Yeah, because I think it's late August. It's it's August twenty seventh. I think. Because aren't you doing like meeting greets? I think it's like meet and greets. I think like you, it's gonna be stand like you. It's not like a huge event like, like an expo, but it's like an right. outdoor indoor. It's like outside the store, the whole entire parking lot's taken. I think there's gonna be lifting going on, like a lifting, like a deadlifting competition or something. Um, and yeah, no, it's just good times, good vibes. Should I love do. going to like local events like that, showing love. Got to try to get Noel on the pod. If you have to try to get Noel on the pod, that'd be sick. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work out that specific time but we we're sure hell we're eventually, sure as hell gonna try eventually down the road yeah. but um other than that i think our next trip is gonna be la 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 yeah we're just uh so i'm gonna be out there for a uh, young la has an event for athletes but i think luke's gonna try to meet me out there for podcast purposes gotta uh, keep it going gotta keep it going tell but, us um, tell us again like who you guys want to see on the pods any any and, and any industry doesn't really necessarily have to be fitness but We'd love to like actually talk to someone that the majority of the audience wants to see, obviously. So yeah. always, always let let us know. Comments, DMs, whatever. Yeah, if you got anybody body in mind, I'm sure we can make some sort of connection with them and get them on. Hell yeah. But um, yeah. So so tell us, my, let's hear your POV from this trip, though. I mean, in a, in a, in, a, in a crash course, like quick, like. Good. Guns was definitely it's definitely cool seeing you shoot guns. It's always a good time. Like even for me, like I'm not the biggest when it comes to hunting as far as like other people like Colin. Colin like is big on hunting. Um I'm not so much. But at the same time, you know, I have my own gun. I have my own shotguns at my parents' house. Uh, I just leave it there cuz my dad's more into it than me. Um but yeah, that was definitely something you had to do. I thought it was very cool. And then, other than that, we didn't do nothing crazy besides bourbon. Had the show in bourbon. That was a good time. Um, I goofed on letting him see an alligator. But, um, like I said, next time. It's only the first trip. Can't do everything in a it's short true. time span. That's true. It was only here for, like, four days. Yeah. And, it took us, like, you know, four trips to get you in all the locations yeah, in Jersey. We were making content for me, making content for him. We were podcasting. So, yes, it's not... It wasn't, he's not, wasn't here just for personal reasons or pleasure, right? It was more business. So we had to prioritize that. So we couldn't knock everything out that I wanted, but it's okay. Like I said, next time I'm going to have it lined up. Um, but uh, yeah, what you thought of my gym? The iconic gym, man. What's it called again? What's the name of it? Lift it. Lift the nutrition. Lift the nutrition. Yeah. No, it's sick. It's like an old school bodybuilding gym, but it's like, I love the layout, man. Like I love the layout. Like you walk in. 
and like you the hole behind a desk that's like uh, um i don't know it's almost like a like a like a concession stand almost but like for like for a gym when you yeah, walk right. in like you ha- it's not like you could just, it's not like a stereotypical like you walk right behind a desk it's like kind of closed off and mm-hmm. it's really cool with the windows and like i don't know so you walk in there's like benches where you can hang out um you have locker rooms old school hardcore and then the actual lifting floor man everything's laid out perfectly really good equipment some pieces that i was actually like thinking of like maybe i take a picture of this and send to like the owner of the gym in Jersey. Cause yeah. I'm like, yo, these are good pieces, man. Go John, get on that shit. Yeah, no. Nah. I mean, there's only limited space there, but I was just like, damn, the chest press that I used yesterday was super sick. Mm-hmm. When we did, we did push when I first got here that had like the seated lateral raise yeah. that like chest supported. That thing's really nice too. Oh, yeah. So a lot of good pieces. Um, what, what equipment do you have at your gym? A lot of Arsenal stuff. Arsenal? Yeah. Yeah. I believe that's all... Nautilus? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, I don't know what the I don't know. It's not Nautilus. I just don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah. But I feel like that's just like prime, like old school type machines. Yeah. Like if you really, if you really look for old ones, that's the ones where like, damn, I was doing it in at, in UK. It was like um, lad pullovers, but it was like chains instead of like you know cables. Yeah. It was chains. Huh. On the machine. That's so crazy. it was so old. Yeah. And dude, I just loved it. The the gritty feel of it just nice sometimes they're sometimes the older machines just flow better too yeah like i don't know what it is i've I've used some modern day shit and i'm just like disappointed about just the just like the contraction and like the way the what whatever it's using whether it's a cable or like a like a like a belt Mm -hmm. like i don't know like sometimes it just like it doesn't hit the same sometimes they overcomplicate this this new stuff but yeah i like the old school stuff um, I just like the, the, the gym in general, dude, I could so see that being like my main gym. If I were to live around here, or if that was where I lived, I would main gym that mm-hmm. I like it. Cause it's 24 oh, seven. This dude just has a key and you just walk in at any time. There's music always playing, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like the music doesn't shut off, which is kind of creepy. Like no one's in there. It's, I just have, I have no reason to go anywhere else. Like, so I wouldn't it's like two, it's like three minutes from my apartment. It's 24-7 access, so, like, if we need to go film late at night when nobody's in there so we don't, like, get in people's way, we're not causing a big scene, we could do that, and we're completely by ourselves. So, I don't know if you ever seen my videos, but a lot of people ask, do y'all own the gym? Because there's nobody, there's no background characters, nobody working out. Just it's like, it. we just go late. And it, it started off that way, because Colin, when he gets off, he gets off late, Nordo gets off late, or well, he did, but, so that's why we just found that time to be the best because it worked out for all of us but it's just perfect man and then the equipment dude the atmosphere there like everybody you kind of said it everybody's kind of like knows each other and it's like a almost like a not a hangout session obviously people are going there to work out but you just kind of know everybody and that's how it is living in a small town anyway but yeah it's like a small town gym that's like three minutes down the road from where he lives it's super convenient and then like i don't know i feel like Brody could pull up and know who's there just based off the cars in the parking lot. And it's not True. like this big commercial gym parking lot. It's just like this – it's just a, lo- a lot with enough spots for everybody. But at the same time, like, I don't know. It's just, again, in the middle of nowhere for my POV. But at the same time, like, you, you're going to see people you know, which is cool. Like, every time. It's like, oh, what's good, man? Like, you're going to know everybody there. It's like a small niche gym. Like, Nardo was there the other day. And when we pulled up, oh, Nardo's here. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Because yeah. I didn't know we're meeting up with him. And it, I think it was just a coincidence. Yeah, no, coming down the road, I see his car. I was like, yep, no one's there. It was like, you already know who's there. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, we probably have a total of like seven gyms in my town. But <laughs> I wouldn't go anywhere else. If, if there's one that's thing I could recommend, I find that like old school private bodybuilding gym that's not commercial. I just feel like they give a shit more than the commercial gyms. And you're going to run into more people that, I don't know, are just super kind super or more experienced and i don't know you just don't run into a lot of the fucks you'll run into like a yeah, commercial gym no i no, that's exactly why I, do, I go to the gyms i go to yeah. like i actually probably have like 10 gyms in my town and i'll drive an extra 20 minutes just to go to paramount just because like it's all about the environment you know it's all about the people that's you know you just surround yourself with i like the i like the atmosphere the, the equipment's good 
The music's good. It's, it's all about the vibes, man. Like, I, can, I don't want to go to LA Fitness, bro. All the dumbbells are scattered all over. They're never in the right spots. Yeah. There's a lot, like, there's a lot of people who are just going there to maintain and just get their fitness in so they don't get fat. Like, yeah. they're not really about, like... Absolutely nothing wrong with that. No, there isn't, but, like... No, I'm just saying, like, it, the, I don't know, just the old school <laughs> vibe is just... The, it's the atmosphere to me. Yeah. Like, I, I couldn't go... And do what I do, like my videos and stuff at a commercial gym. I'm not That's even one thinking thing. that. Yeah. That's one thing. But just like the people that you come across, like I've never met a single person I did not like at my gym. Every, everybody respects everybody. Everybody's there to, everybody is there to get better. Like, yeah. you know, it's not a lot of goofing off at that gym. No. But at the same time, don't get me wrong, a lot of people, you're like, you, you'll strike conversation with a lot of people, and then all of a sudden, it's like, damn, I don't even know their name, but that's the homie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. I don't know half the people people's name at my gym, but I'm pretty much cool with everyone. I don't think, like, I don't like, I don't dislike anyone that goes to Paramount for the most part. What up, big dog? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It. Yeah, he's like, yo, what's up, big dog? <laughs> yeah. What's up, homie? What's up, bro? What's up, soldier? Because, yeah. like, I don't know half the people's name. No. At the same time, like, you know them. Yeah. No, yeah. no. I know you well, man. I know what you're hitting. Is, I know what you hit on Tuesdays, Wednesdays. In fact. I just don't know your name, bro. Sorry. But uh, it's funny because I've been to every single gym in this town. And, in fact, I could go for free to, to a couple gyms um, because I know the owners or whatnot. But I would choose to pay my membership fee at my gym that I go yep. to. Just yep. everything that I need, everything. I can't complain about anything in there. So, yeah, and it's not no fancy. It doesn't have like an Olympic size swimming pool. It doesn't have these a big steam room, anything like that. It's just, you know, it has what you need. Exactly what you need. Yep. And and that's it. That's all it is. It's nothing to. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's not like we need any of the fancy smashy shit. It's just about. It's about every. It's about like everything just kind of aligning. Like everything's perfect. Right. Like the people, the equipment, the atmosphere. Um, and I think the fact that you could just walk in any time is just like kind of yeah. goaded, bro. Speaking of gyms, Goated. would you ever? I mean, you played the gym owner. Would you ever want to own your own gym? Oh, man, not right now. Yeah, yeah, but like I would honestly. I think I would love to own my own gym. I just it would be a matter of like where. I don't know if I would want to do it in New Jersey, um, and it would have to be sick, man. Like I'd have to like. I feel like I would have to have it all designed out, like, on a computer, know exactly what it's going to look like before done. Oh, of course. You know what I mean? That's called planning. That's called planning. <laughs> that's what you should. But you know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like that's not what... I don't feel like everyone plans that much. No, a lot of people just buy the space and they're like, yeah. okay, now we need a start to piece it together, like a puzzle. But, like, I would want to know, like, if I'm going to make a gym, I want it to be... I want it to really stand out. Like, I really want it to be... Gotta something have a, something different. Got to have a certain vibe about it. Mm -hmm. I think about it. Same way. Uh, one day in the future, yeah, I would love to. Obviously, right now, too much going on. Yeah. But seems like a lot of work, obviously. Like, you'd have to, like, that oh, would probably be your main priority. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, you couldn't just, like, oh, I'm going to open up a gym and still do everything else I'm doing all at the same time and everything's going to be good. Like, yeah, definitely, definitely your first one. Um, after that, maybe you can start opening up multiple locations. But Christian even talked about that. Christian Guzman has the owner of Alpha Land. Um, you know, maybe the best gym anywhere, you know, in the country. And his it's first one wasn't a big success. We talked about that. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Because his first gym wasn't Alpha Land. Yeah, of course not. No. I think he started out in like a storage unit and then he upgraded to like a, a warehouse, no AC type shit. Um, I don't know where that was located. But like you said, he, I think I think he kind of said he had no plan. You know, a lot of the members was his buddies that like weren't even really paying him. You know, he would have yeah. to call and trying to get that money from him. And I don't even think he profited off of it. Yeah. So that just goes to show you, I mean, just kind of got to do it. Maybe for your first time, a little bit more planning. But at the same time, you know, you're not just going to build an empire right off the bat. Yeah. Unless you're super I'm sure rich already. I mean, there's a beauty to it for sure. Mm -hmm. Just like kind of this like yellowing it in a sense if that's something you were always like wanted to do instead of just like trying to wait for all the stars online which is never going to happen true kind of was just like all right let me just get it going get the ball rolling let's get the space and let's piece the equipment together and you go from there i think there's a beauty and an art to that too you know especially 100%. if it's like coming from your your genuine self i guess but right now, where I stand, I wouldn't be able to open a gym. But I would love to own a gym down the line at some point. That would be sick. 
we traveled to a lot of places. We've been to a lot of gyms. In your mind, do you have a number one? A number one gym? Yeah. Well, like, what was your favorite to visit? Dragon's Lair in Vegas is really nice. It is. That's a really nice gym, bro. With the legs. The le- yeah, they have a lot of good leg stuff. And I love it when they they have, like, everything um, grouped together. Mm-hmm. Like, the equipment. Not every gym does that. It's more common now, especially with, like, privately owned gyms like that. But Dragon Lair's was, was sick. Dragon Shout Lair. out Flex. Probably the only thing I like a little... I think only complaint there would be like windows, natural lighting inside the gym. That's a good point. Um, another good gym was where we did the ghost shoot in in Houston. That was that they was had, a nice gym. They had three separate sections. Yes, it, there was an outdoor spot that will that had shade, but yeah. you're outside, and then you can go actually step outside in like the turf and then get some sun. You could yeah, tan. outside area reminded me like yeah. very old school, very gritty. But e- it like had that smell. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. What was that called? Iron City. Sound, that sounds right. Yeah, Iron I would City. have never remembered that. Shout out Iron City. Shout out Iron City. But like you walked in, the lobby's air conditioned, everything is nice. The bathrooms were nice. Remember, mm-hmm. they you were had like the op- <laughs> you had like the fridge options. You had a spot to chill if you wanted to take pre, do a little bit of work, whatever you want to do. Then the front desk. Then you walk in. That's where the temperature like rises, bro. It's like 80, so 90 hot. degrees. You're getting the raw temperature from the outside. You go right. You have all the upper body equipment. You go left down like a little. Not a little hallway, like a wide hallway, but a short distance, all the leg stuff. Mm-hmm. And then in both in both the upper and lower body section like spot like either which way you go, there's like like garage doors open. Was was it garage doors or is it you're just like fenced out, but like you get the raw heat, bro. Like it's Yeah, it was definitely open. I don't know if open. it was garage doors or not. And then all the way in the back, I believe it was like straight cardio. Yep. Cause you would walk outside, yep. then they have like they have an outside area with turf that's like, you know, the old gritty dumbbell rack that you could hit your workout outside. Mm-hmm. And then the back shed or, you know, pavilion, whatever they want to call it, is uh, like straight cardio. I thought that was cool. And that yeah. was like more indoors. I mean, those but, um, are, well, I've recently, we recently went to those gyms, so I don't know if maybe that's why they're like standing out in my head. I have one in mind that stood out. Shoot. Roman. Roman Empire. Yeah. That is a nice gym. Yeah. That's in... Not, is that Houston? Houston. I don't it's know Houston if it's ex- exactly in Houston, but we were definitely in Houston when we went there. Yes. So I think that's like 20, maybe 30 away from Alpha Land and all that. Another beautiful gym, man. Yeah. And then, um, you know, Roman himself was there. And yeah. then they let you get behind the counter and bust out a skit. That's right. That's I mean, right. it was just clean, but at the same time, it gave you kind of old school vibes with like certain equipment. But like the equipment was, a, they had so many options. Massive. That's yeah. what I liked about it. And then um, that poser room. I was just pose thinking about the pose. The pose room was insane. Yeah, I like how they have the lounges up there. It's like an upstairs they have like area. Yeah, like chirotherapy shit, mm-hmm. like massage chairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was another good gym. They're up there, all three of those. All of them. Yeah. All of them are good. So I don't know if one is better than the other. I think it just kind of depends on your vibe and what you're looking for in a gym. Seriously. Really. I like smaller gyms personally. I like I like being able to get to the – if I need to use the bathroom, I'm not going to lose my pump because it's so far. You know, that's always what I say. It's a good point. Yeah, I don't like big gyms. Like yeah. I do, I, it's like twenty-four hour fitnesses and like big commercial gyms like that, where like it's like a hike. Then you have to walk through the locker room and the locker room. Like you don't just walk right in and the bathroom's right there. Like you walk past, like through the locker room, and I don't know. You got to pass a bunch of naked dudes, and you finally find a urinal. And by the time you get back, someone stole your bench. Like True. that's too much, man. I like the smaller gyms, but the gyms that we did mention, though, great gyms. Absolutely recommend for sure i mean i was talking about traveling a lot um i mean you're in jersey i'm in louisiana i think we should find a mutual location maybe make a move one day a content house or something it would just i mean i don't know about that for yeah to uh, team 10 house team 10 house (laughs) jake paul that's crazy we can make our own song every day bro every day jim bro every day cringe Every day. I was trying be. to think of something a little less cringe than that. Yeah, that'd be um, so lame. Who you invite? Like, who else? Who we recruiting? Uh, we'd have to have a videographer. <laughs> no, no, <it's> possibly. <laughs> no, I was like, no, I was like, I'm in. Yeah, <laughs> he wouldn't even tell his mom. <laughs> I don't know where I'd want to go though. L. A. No way. I like Florida. No, but see, something part? like L. A. Just it would be convenient because there's so much going on. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if that's us, man. Yeah, LA's never really been my vibe to like actually, like like 
permanently locate, you yeah. know, relocate. I mean, I don't think that what we're saying is that we would live there forever, but at the same time, man, I like to, I, I'd, I'd much rather just visit LA than live there. And like I you agree. go out, you go out to breakfast, and it's like thirty dollars for an omelet, bro. It's like what, bro? That's true. Everything it, there is like six dollars a gallon. It's like nobody works in LA. Yeah, that too. Yeah, that's dude. another funny thing. I think we were there like on a Monday, and everybody's just out and about at like eleven in the morning. Any mo- any time, bro. Yeah, everybody. I mean, at the same time, <laughs> that's funny because like we'll be like, dude, what do these people do for work? And I guarantee you they look at us and say the same shit. They're wondering the same thing about yeah. us. I guess everybody over there is entrepreneurs mm-hmm. doing social media or some shit. But, um, yeah, for me, I like the South, man. Always did like the South. Not big on the whole snow. Yeah. It's good, it's yeah. good to go skiing, you know, enjoy for like a week or so. And then I want to be back in the South. I, I think um, if I had to move from Louisiana, Texas or Florida would be my spot. I, I do, I do much rather uh, the heat over the cold. Um, it, it's a vibe during like Christmas time. Don't get me wrong. Oh, like, I love the weather, the seasonal changes, whatever. But yeah, after 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 a certain age, I think by the time I honestly by the time I started driving, I was so over the cold, yeah. over the icy roads, the snow, the sleet. It's kind of gross. Then the plows come around, and the, the snow just stacks up and looks dirty as shit. It's just like it's not a good look. I don't know. I I I, I like it where it's warm, where I can walk outside in a a wife beater. A rib tank, um, some shorts, minimal clothes, clothing, and I don't know. That's just the vibe for me. And it's better for my mental, too, to be honest. Like, I definitely would get seasonal depression a little bit. And I don't mean I get depressed. I just mean, like, my mood is definitely, you know, definitely not where it's at when it's sunny and bright and hot yeah. outside. When, it, when it's cold and, like, maybe groggy or, like, I don't know, you just – that vi- dude, something it's, about vitamin D, that sun. It helps. Dude, it's a real thing. It is. It's a real thing. And, and then, and then obvi- obviously another thing, and this happens everywhere, but like, you know, not only is it cold as hell in Jersey, but it gets dark by like four o'clock, you know? It's just like, damn. It's damn, just dark true. and cold, man. You just, it, it, it's like not motivating. It doesn't want, it doesn't fire you up to go do shit, but like. It's crazy. Like when I walk out of here and it's just like super sunny and you can feel the heat hit you, it's like, damn, this is a good ass day. It's a good day. No matter what I got going on. Like a day like today is just super cloudy. It yeah. just doesn't look too appealing. It's like, eh, which kind of makes me want to stay inside. It does. Not dude. do much. And that's what I mean by like the seasonal oppression. So when like winter rolls around in New Jersey, man, it gets darker, it starts to get cold, and it's just like, damn. I mean, other than like, you know, football saves you, football season's great. I do like I do always love that when it's like September and like the the season starting to get what times what times the NFL start? It's like September, right? Sometime in September. Yeah, because I remember a couple of times like the first eh, I think preseason starts because there's a couple of times on my birthday. My birthday's in September. Um, a Saints game has happened on my birthday, so it's either preseason starts in September and I think it gets going late September, early October, some shit like that. Some yeah. shit like that. But either way, dude, it's always like a surprise because I'm like, I'm like upset like the summer's all over and then I'm like, oh yeah, sports, sports. Yeah. yeah now I get excited about football, football season. Uh huh. Oh yeah. That, that is a vibe. great point because this is like where nothing's really going on. Yeah. Because I was thinking about it. I was like, dude, we have nothing to watch or, like right now. Because mm-hmm. I mean, we're on the boys, but that comes out once a week. Yeah. I was like, there's no sports going on at all besides like MLB. Yeah. I'm not big into baseball. I, I don't sit there and watch MLB unless it's postseason, to be honest. I just kind of keep up with it. Yeah. You just keep up with it? Yeah. Yeah. College baseball. We'll watch college baseball. Something about college baseball, man. People just want it more. That's what they say, right? Well, because you're grinding for, like, to to get drafted. You know what I mean? Once they get to the MLB, people still try. Don't get me wrong. It's not like, you know, professionals don't try. It's just like, I don't know. It's just a different level of grit and, like, dirt bags playing in college. It's like when you get the bag in UFC, you know, you see a lot of fighters just kind of like die sure. off a little bit when they get the bag. Um, I think it's the same thing with any sport. It's like, okay, I got there. I made this. I have it now. And now, you know, you're probably just like, well, I, maybe I could just cruise through this. Yeah. You know, I'm, well, sure, I'm sure that's not everybody's mindset. Don't get me wrong. But I do see the fire when you're watching like college sports. Yeah. You really, because they're not getting paid. Right. College football, dude. College football. So fun. So, so that's what you're going to have to come down for. I told you this is um, LSU game day. 
Tiger Stadium. It'll be fun. Nuts, man. The energy over there is insane. People really care about college football here. I know. You were telling me about that. All football in general. Here yeah. in Texas and, like, the South, they go crazy for, like, high school football. Yeah, that's, like, a thing, right? Yeah. It's big. Especially thing. in Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's think like I, 6A schools. What schools? 6A. 6A? Yeah. What's that mean? You, you don't go by classes like 3A, 4A, 5A? I don't even know what you're talking about. It, it depends on the size of your school. Oh, uh, our like, schools were not that big, bro. Yeah, I had a small school. We were 3A. 3A. Yeah. What's so... They're How just, big was your school? What was your senior class look like? I couldn't tell you. Like 100 senior kids? Senior class? I don't know. Like 150? Yeah. That, that's a random guess. I think guess. we had like 800 to 1,200 total in our entire high school. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. I have no idea, to be honest. It wasn't massive like that. And we weren't really good at sports, except for wrestling. We did have a really good wrestling team. Why didn't you wrestle? Because I didn't want to stay at school any longer than I had to. <laughs> I didn't true. play any high school sports because I really didn't want to be at school, bro. I really just was not. I wasn't it. Yeah, but you really seem like the type that would love to get on a mat just wrestle with sweaty guys. Yeah, I seem like that kind of guy. You do. Nah, I never got into it. I kind of like it seems fun. I think I would have been good. I just never. I a lot of the uh, another thing is like a lot of the kids at my school that were wrestlers in high school wrestled the entire life. Like they didn't start in high school. They were like wrestling by the time they could walk. Like wrestling was huge in my town. So a lot. So a lot of it was like, eh. Like, do I really want to start learning now when everyone already knows what the hell they're doing? Yeah. They've been wrestling for years. You know. I I always talk about that when it comes to high school sports. It kind of upsets me that I didn't try more things. Like, I've never played soccer in my life, but I'm quick. I'm like, you probably would have been good at soccer. I'm quick. I'm good at, like, you know, what is it? Like, turning, like, fast turns. That's why, I, like, I played outfield. You know, I could just, I was very good at, like, I don't know, just making cuts, tracking a ball. Um, soccer, I'm not saying I'd be good at soccer. I have no idea, to be honest. But could have been the best in the world. Could have been. Never know. You never know. Never know. Tennis, same thing. Lacrosse. Lacrosse wasn't even offered at my high school. Yeah, could have been a dog of lacrosse. Yeah, it could have been. It's crazy to think, like, I don't know, if you would have tried, how yeah. good you could have been. Like, maybe if you got into bowling, you'd be bowling 300s <laughs> and shit. Be the pro bowler right now. I feel like I could be really good at bowling if I gave it a shot. I think so. But I would never give it a shot. I don't know. It's just kind of boring. I like to lift. That's yeah. what, that was also me. Like, I wanted to preserve all my energy to lift later. So I'd go home from school like pretty much every day. I mean, I had different phases. I think senior year, I'd lift like right after school. But junior year, I'd go home, nap for like two, three hours, then load up on some pre at like fucking 7 p.m. and just go to the gym and go crazy, bro. And that was, that was, that was pre any injuries. That was like you're invincible, 17, 18 had, years old. You had an injury? Um, yeah, I did tear my pec this one time. There it is. There it is. <laughs> now that happened later, later in life. But in high school, dude, I was invincible, bro. I would be able to max out on <laughs> anything at any moment. Nothing hurt. Um, Good days. You know, my back was fine. Like, I didn't blow out my back doing something stupid. Um, and it, and if it did, and even if you did at that age, bro, you'd recover in like a day. True. All you had to do is sleep it off, and you'd wake up. I'm like, oh, shit. Let's go max on bench again. I feel like that's how Nordo feels. You want to just max out every day? No. Is that what you do? You don't no. do that, but, like, you probably don't get the aches. In your joints and shit. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. Nah. Yeah. Nah. By the way, nice. we're talking to my videographer, Nordo, who is behind the scenes. And he's, he's a youngster. 19? 19? Yeah. 19 and loyal. And loyal. <laughs> he's got another, like, Ladies, three or four years. Just, just know. But, um, yeah, no. Uh, g give it to about 22. Yeah, I think 22 is a good age. Yeah, when that's you start still to very young. It depends, though. Like, I... Well, if you've been lifting, like, for – since he's been lifting. Like, I didn't get started lifting until 19. Yeah. I, like how you said, I felt invincible until about, like, maybe a year and a half ago, two years. But there's no saying that, like, if I were to have just taken better care of, like, myself, um, you know, prioritize, like, technique, form, that, you know, I probably wouldn't have any of those aches right now either. But, like, you know, what you do, what you do when you're young and how you treat your body then – is a result of like how you're gonna feel later, and I think Kyle Wilkes was talking about us talking about that a lot too. He was. When we were on the pod, um, so any of the youngins watching that think ego lifting and lifting heavy every day is a great idea, it is, <laughs> but at the same time, it might it will catch up to you. Yeah, you could definitely injure yourself at any age. We're not saying you're invincible just because no. you're young, but at the same time, you have to start taking better care of yourself once you get up there. 
And yeah. I mean, that's, you know, that's obvious. But I, I just had a random thought. How much caffeine you think you could take before it's dying? Too much. <laughs> But too much. I was just digging because so some days I would watch this dude slam an energy drink while taking like 400 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, that's a lot to take at one time. I thought I was bad. Um, I've really dumbed it down though. Okay. So <clears throat> my caffeine tolerance is definitely there. Um, when I first started like doing content, I signed with like a local supplement company. And it was a hardcore brand, bro. Yeah. And they used to make pre-workouts, one scoop, 700 mg- milligrams of caffeine. And, like, I dabbled in all the sketchy pre-workouts back in the day, DMMA, DMHA, it's DMEE. It's crazy. I tried to try them all. But DMA, I think it's DMAA. Yeah. That's the That one's the one that was, like, Dude, crack, bro. The, the little bag that they – I've never taken it, but um, – God, a buddy of mine. Oh, yeah, a buddy of mine. I was FaceTiming him, and he showed me the bag. It comes – in a little tiny scooper that might be like I don't I don't know what it is. It's definitely not a gram. It's like yeah. maybe like a fourth of a gram that yeah. the scooper comes in. That shit is potent yes. and dangerous. Yes, it's very dangerous, and that's why it's banned, and that's why it's illegal to have in pre-workout. So you've now. taken it before? Yeah, have you? No. What? Uh-uh. You never tried it? I think it was. Oh, because a- you got into the gym so much later, bro. I was taking that Probably when so. I was like 16, 17. What What does it do? Is it? It's just a stimulant. Stimulant. Yeah, it's like um. Like, does it make you feel like you're on Adderall? Um, like, how does it make you feel? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Like, your focus is right there. You feel like a god, bro. I tell you Hard. what, bro. You feel like a god. Because you <laughs> just feel great. Like, you you um, you um don't really fatigue. You just feel like you can keep going. Um, You feel like you can keep lifting heavy, too. Like, you know, after, like, your top set of your first movement, you're like, all right, like, my body's fatigued now. I just maxed out, did an AMRAP, did heavy working sets. Like, now when, I'm go- now when you're moving over to hypertrophy... You know that fatigue, you don't really get that, bro. Like, yeah. you're just so wired in and everything just feels great. And it's, it's it's a damn drug, honestly. It was just in pre-workout, so it was justified. So you banned now. Yeah. I mean, you'd also had the DMMA with 300 milligrams of caffeine and then whatever the hell else they put in it. Like, you felt it was great. And all the pre-workouts usually tasted pretty shitty, but... It was fine because you were just on top of the world, bro, for like a good hour or two. But the crash was crazy, bro. You'd crash hard. Like, you'd just be like, damn. Oh, I can see that. Um, But why, why were you talking about pre-workouts? Oh, how much caffeine? caffeine? I think, realistically, before, like, I feel like shit in one sitting, like, I could probably take, like, I could still take, like, six, 700 in a sitting. In a sitting? In a sitting. And I'd, I would need to lift, though. Like, I would have to lift. Otherwise, I'd feel like shit, be anxious, and be like, what am I doing, bro? Like, But I wouldn't do that anymore. Usually what I do, if anything, if I'm really feeling like I want to load up, and I don't, I don't recommend this at all. I always tell people, if you honestly can go to the gym with minimal caffeine or just no, none at all, just taking pump for focus, that's the best thing. Oh, yeah. You know? That's the best thing. And caffeine in general, stimulants in general are going um, are, are gonna to kill your pump. It's going to make it dip, more difficult to have a pump. So Yeah, guys, if you're someone who doesn't take pre-workout and you listen to everybody talking about the best pre-workout, everything out there. You don't need it. Yeah. The best pre-workout is no pre-workout, to be honest. Right. I mean, or like something as simple as like black coffee. Yeah. I I know a lot of people like don't like the taste of black coffee, but like natural caffeine like that, so much better for you. But like lately, so this is what I've been on. Lately, I don't even, I've, so I take pre-workout on some days. If I go later in the gym, uh, later, if I hit my workout a little later, right? Like I'm doing, maybe I'm editing videos and whatnot. My combo has been a ghost energy drink, and I'm kind of sipping on that as I'm editing. And then when I go to the gym, I don't have a scoop of my ghost size, which is creatine. And their creatine has beta alanine in it, right? So, so good. it gets me that little tiny itch. And then I double scoop the pump, hmm. right? Well, actually, actually, I don't dome the size. To get that flavor, I put it in my shaker. And then I always get the non-natty. Uh, I'm sorry. I always get the natty flavored uh, pump. So that means it's unflavored. So to get the flavor, I use the creatine. So that gives me the little itch. And then I get a sick pump with two scoops of that. So I get a little bit of caffeine because I'm trying to cut back on the caffeine. uh, Because usually I have one to two cups of coffee in the morning as I'm like, you know, getting my day started and whatnot. So lately I've been in like 400 milligrams. Yeah. And that's really taking it down a notch. Yeah, honestly, that's kind of where I'm at. Four or 500. I try to. Um, Heavier days, probably like six. But that's the whole day. That's the whole day worth. Like, in one sitting, I usually don't. I'll do, like, I definitely um, 
do like half a scoop, three qu- uh, three fourths of a scoop. I've been doing all out. I never honestly do full scoops of it, especially if I'm sipping on an energy drink. You know yeah. what I mean? If I'm sipping an energy drink, I'll probably just take half the half the scoop, and which is like 200 milligrams, and then the energy drink because I just love sipping the energy drinks. They're so good. They're, they just taste so good. So for so yeah, I could blame you, <laughs> Ghost, for like half the reason I have so much caffeine is because they taste damn good. Ghost energy. energy. There's not a flavor I don't like. Yeah. And that's much. not glazing because we're sponsored. I swear. Like, <laughs> even before I was signed with them, I was buying I, like, I was buying my own from the gas station. Yeah. Always. And it was all, always orange creamsicle, number one. Number Whoa. one. But um, there, was, there was one point, man. Dude, I was taking all out, which is 400 milligrams. And I was having, like, coffee and, like, an energy drink before my workouts. So there was a point where I was at, like, 700 on the day. I was shit. like, and I just... I didn't, I didn't feel like shit, but it was like the end of the day, man. I, want, I, want, I didn't want to do anything, yeah. especially when we had to go film late at night. It's like, dude, I don't want to be here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, that crash is crazy, man. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so if I'm going to take all out now, I, um, I, don't, I skip the energy drink. So if I don't have an energy drink, I'll go with all out because um, I like the fact that it's 300 milligrams. You know, you get a hit with 300 milligrams, and then it has 100 milligrams coming from extended release. So a lot of pre-workouts, I felt like I was crashing or like I didn't even want to finish my last few mo- movements because, you know, my energy was tanking. Mm-hmm. But that, mm-hmm. it feels like it powers all throughout my workout instead of like getting that crash at the end. Yep. And all really, out. I don't really see a big crash with, um, when it comes to ghosts. Yeah, to be honest. I mean, I mean, with any type of stimulants, you take too much, like you've taken them off, you're going to have some sort of down, but... Yeah, I've never crashed hard off of it. It's not like taking like the sketchy pre's like I was talking about earlier. Like them shits hit you, you feel great, and then all of a sudden you're just done. Like I don't know. Maybe, I remember those maybe days. Maybe two hours. One pre one pre workout that my buddy gave me. Um, it was bucked up back when I was like just starting out. So Whew. Ghost was actually the first ever pre workout I ever bought. Mm-hmm. The thing is, I was broke as shit. So like that forty dollars or it might have been it was like thirty five maybe forty dollars for one of them tubs, and I bought it. I loved it. But at the same time, it's like, ah, I don't have the money for it. You know what I mean? Yep. And uh, so one of my buddies gave me bucked up. And then I just stopped taking pre-workout. I hated, hated it. Not that it gets bucked up. It's just, I don't know what it was. I was so freaking itchy. And then I broke out. And so I blamed that. You broke out like acne? Yeah. I had a it? bad breakout. Really? Breakout. Because I took it for like a week. It wasn't just one mm, day. It was just one scoop. Because he gave me like the rest of his pre-tub. What a why that would happen though. Like what would pre? I don't know. Like I said, could it just been out? my diet and everything? But I just kind of like mm, it made me break out, and it makes me feel like shit. So no. Yeah. No. Uh, I've had, there's pre's like that that are not necessarily like dosed too high, but you just your body has a really bad reaction to it. I've had I've had plenty of pre's I'd like throw out yeah. during my whole entire like lifting career. I've tried so many different brands, you know, just Amazon, like, oh, let's just try this random one, um, be in GNC, be in Vitamin Shop, oh, let's try this one, be in, like, the cool, like, the the um, nutrition shops. Yeah, dude, the GNC days, back then, I used to, like, ask the guys, like, dude, what's the best pre? And I, yeah. I would, like, listen to them. Yeah. You I, I knew nothing. And they, they would, they would like, they would just point you to what they're going to make. Do they make commission? <sighs> I think they're better off trying to sell their GNC products, Do they? though. Yeah, they make commission. I think they make commission, wow. so they usually point you to like, you know, what they get a good commission off. I, I could no be idea. wrong. I think Nordo, Nordo backed it up at the same time. I don't know if that's true or not, but they would always point me to like the most expensive one. But, that's um, true. Yeah, the, the prices used to be outrageous, huh? Yeah, at dude. GNC, man, they would rip you like in two and bend you over. Yeah, I remember energy drinks wasn't a big thing back then. No, I didn't start. I don't even want to say their name until, um, yeah, I'm not even going to say their name, but yeah, energy drinks was a big thing back there. Cause I remember I really didn't get into energy drinks till maybe junior year of college. Cause I used to, I started taking one before every, every game, but before then maybe, maybe I was just wrong, but it was really just like monsters. Yeah. White monsters. Yeah. When white monsters came out, they like took over, bro. That was like the best tasting energy drink, and it was zero calories. So that was like that was like a game changer. Because you didn't have much options. No, you didn't. You had like the original Monster, which I never thought tasted good. Hell Nos right. never thought it tasted good. Tastes like shit. Tastes like a laser. Um, <laughs> uh, a laser. A laser. That's, like that's, no, that's that's a good that's a good description. Dude, I don't know how you thought of that, but <laughs> it's actually a reference from a movie. Actually, really? it's an older movie. Yeah, it was like this kid that like woke up from a coma and tried to energy drink for the first time because he was an adult. 
And he was like, oh, it tastes like a laser. And I think it was a Red Bull, but yeah. I don't really know. But either way, that's it was a perfect it was a perfect description in my head when I heard that. I'm like, dude, that's what energy drinks really do taste like. Like, there's no you can't pinpoint like what it is, but yeah, it's like if you were to be able to taste a laser, that's what a, that's what a not like NO3, NOS, uh, the NOS energy drinks used to taste like. But yeah, back to what we're saying, Monster, zero calories, tasted good. I mean, there was no beat in that really. Uh, I didn't drink any. I didn't have any. I, I didn't drink energy drinks in high school really. Yeah. Just pre workout, and then even after that, it was just when I moved to South Carolina, it was just straight monster. Yeah. Yeah. Since we're mentioning other brands, we just want to point out Ghost Energy is number one, and always will be. Hell yeah! Come on, come on! You can't beat the flavors. All right. You can't beat the labeling. All right. They look aesthetic. They taste good. Zero calories. Two hundred milligrams of caffeine. Maybe five calories. Five calories. Okay. <laughs> As he's turning it around, I'm like, yeah, maybe five calories. But. <laughs> I knew it was low, but I knew it wasn't zero. But um, I, I wanted to ask, how often do you think about taking steroids? Never. Never? No, nah, I never think about taking steroids. Man. I think about it daily. I, you do really? Not actually taking it, but like, you think come on, you got to think about like what you would look like. Because you, you look, I know you, you look at yourself a lot and you're like, be, damn, be, you kind of hype, like you wouldn't talk about that on social media, but like you look at yourself, you're like... It's a little unfair. How good I look. <laughs> I do look. I do like. And he's just saying that to me to be cocky. Yeah, but, um, I like to. At the same time, you gotta imagine if you would take. Uh, I'm not talking about taking like one cycle. Just imagine like a year, a year, not some heavy shit. Like just uh, maybe like test. You look fucking nuts. Thanks. Um, I probably would look pretty sick. Yes. Uh, um, maybe maybe in 10 years or something if my like natural tea starts to drop for some reason which i wouldn't want or let happen but if it came to the point where like lifting was really big and i i still really cared about the size and everything and i just felt like i needed a little boost maybe trt in like right. 10 to 20 years well, i was just kind of asking how much you think about it like I, I, not dude, actually not I, actually. I don't actually think about it like right now especially um the biggest compliment i get is when someone thinks i'm like 22 or 23 and now that I'm 27, I really appreciate. Yeah. Like, I think we, that was like our first podcast yeah. episode. Just talking about our, the youthful, like you still look young. Yeah. So I don't think I would ever want to throw that away. Just kind of knowing that's like one of the main side effects of any, um, like perform like PED pretty much is like you know kind of like accelerate your age. I mean, you see it. You know, like you see like 20 year olds look 30 and 30 year look 40. So you know what I was thinking? I just kind of get off of that because. Um. Well, well right. damn. What was it? What was I thinking? To answer I your question, though. No, no. Yeah, to answer your question. Yeah, not a lot. I really don't. No, I get I, that. I probably honestly thought about it more when I was younger, but now I'm where I'm at. Like I'm happy with where I'm at. I, I like I like my yeah. natural look. Yeah. No, we talked about that a good bit. Like you know, if we were bodybuilding, okay, that's what I want to talk about. Yes. If we were bodybuilding, it's a big difference. But um, big right difference. now, it's just not that's necessary no because we're doing well for ourselves. Maybe if like we got in our heads. And you were like, dude, we got to be big for social media. Yeah. But I don't think we're that type of people that I don't really compare myself too much. Back then I did because mm-hmm. uh, I was getting into the scene. But now it's like you got to understand that people just want to see personality and entertainment and you be yourself. At the end of the day, a good right. physique yeah. is awesome. But at the same time, it's not the most important thing in the world. That's nah. not what people are looking for, man. No. Nah. And there's like, like p- people might look at my shit as like, why do people think he looks so good? He's small. It's like. Yeah, but I look good. It's 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 attainable. It's yes. something that the normal person can relate to. Mm-hmm. Like um, true. I want to tell you someone for example. It's like Sam Sulek. Everybody loves Sam Sulek. You're never gonna look like him. No. With without help. And even if though, like, even you're if probably it, never gonna reach that level. People like people don't understand. People say like, how can I look like you? You're never gonna look like me. Not because you're not gonna look as good as me or like surpass me like one not, day. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like that we all have different genetics. You're not gonna have the same abs up. as me. No matter how hard you try, he's never gonna have like obliques or like my core section. Even if you do get shredded, yeah, they might be bigger, they might be pr- more pronounced, but they're always gonna look different. Yep. You know, if you just if you don't have the genetics, you know, same same thing with like me. I'll probably never get. No matter, even if I took gear, like my biceps probably wouldn't look as good as it, or my chest wouldn't be as juicy as his. A lot of it comes down to genetics, but at the same time, don't blame genetics. Just understand that you're never going to look exactly like your idol or the person you look up to. Just never will. Yep. Be the best at being your best self. Yeah. Right? 
You might, you might shock yourself, man. Exactly. But what I wanted to get into, speaking of bodybuilding, ah, crazy idea. God. <laughs> Where is this going? What if we join the same competition? You know how the Trent twins just kind of went on prep together yeah. and everything? What if we did that? That'd be sick, man, but I don't want to diet. <laughs> I knew it. How sick? Hey, guys, if you want to see us both join the same competition, go head to head. I don't think we'd be in the same category. Yeah, but it's true. Let us know if that's something you would want to see. That would be a, it would be pretty sick, it'd, though. It would be cool, but I wouldn't really – I would do it just for, like, the fun. Like, I wouldn't do it and take it fully serious. Because I, I don't know – I just don't – I have no desire – to like prep for a bodybuilding show of any caliber. I, I get it. I love being cocky, especially when it yeah. comes to you. You'd blow me out the water. You think? You have so much more muscle mass. Mm. See, I would, don't get me wrong, I think I would be a lot more conditioned than you. But at the same time, if I come in flat, I would look tiny. Yeah, that's tiny. true. That's so true. I, I would need a that's good coach and everything. That's the thing, though. If you're going to compete naturally, man, that's another thing. It's like, okay, like I don't want to do. I don't want to do any PEDs for all my reasons, whatever. It's like, oh, you just don't compete naturally. And it's like, yeah, bro. Like, you ever seen the natural motherfuckers, bro? By the time they're on stage, they, they just look like a piece of paper. That's true. Like, you don't and have the 3D effect of everyone on juice that holds all that size. And you would tank to shut out your tests. Yeah, that too. Because you're, 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 just, you're just depleting yourself. Mm -hmm. It's not even like a, you, you look like you're a god, but you feel like a piece of shit. I, I think I want to do it one day, but I don't want to do some long, like, 16, 20-week prep. I Hell just want to do, like, no. a four-week prep. I think I could do it. I, I get just like maybe not. I would just get like aggressive with diet and yeah, and get a little help when it comes to getting ready on stage because I mean I don't know. I know a little bit because I like research and stuff. Just like in case I would want to do it, but I wouldn't know the best way to go about like peak week. Right, right. I don't know. You should but do it. Anyway, it's an idea. I powerlifted one time. I did a powerlifting competition. You'd be good at that too. Um. I was decent. It was just like a local one. It was fun. Me, my dad, and my brother did it. Um, I have a YouTube video up on my I channel still, about little, it. A little family event. Yeah, we all did it. Sick. It was cool. It was cool. Even my dad started practicing squats because he's squatting because he's like 50, 60 years old. So he yeah. was just benching mainly. But he started squatting for the mm -hmm. competition, which is really cool. Uh, deadlifting too, which is wild because he just wasn't really doing all that. You know, he just likes to do what he does and he likes to focus mainly on his bench. But no, it was cool. We all had – it was a fun time for what it was. But like the adrenaline, though. Either way, like you get it, you get amped, man. No matter the no matter the the audience, like the size, whatever. It's still like you step on that platform. It is like nerve wracking. That's like, what I'm it's missing. It's like competing man. in anything, though. That's what I'm missing, man. I just want some level of competition again. And I guess lately it's been like I don't oh, that know, was a little, when that little competition and like social media. But other than that, man, I don't know. I, I don't know. Just I miss it, man. I miss the competition. Did uh, you ever get in the arm wrestling? Arm wrestling? Nah, that's not me, man. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not the. I mean, I know it comes down to a lot of technique. I think anyone could really be good at arm wrestling if you if you have the technique, because it's not all about strength. But uh, I, it scares me. I've seen too many me too. videos of people snapping arms. For yep. me, I just don't want to do anything that's super taxing on my body or can, can be very dangerous. Like, dude, if I snap my arm or like that when I like hurt my leg i was be i was worried for a little bit but then i was like ah this happened before it's definitely yeah. just a strain and it's like dude i could take you out for a while and fuck it yeah dude and like, like kind of like how you talked about a uh, thirty thousand times about your tech pair like that recovery it's it sucks bro. It's, a, it's a little depressing uh, it was a pec tendon tear so like the whole uh tendon ripped off the bone yeah so like that uh, it's, it's way worse than tearing muscle on muscle when you tear your tendon off the recovery is way different like you yeah. just tear a muscle you can recover on your own. You don't need surgery most of the time. At least that's from what I understand. But what happened to me, dude, it was like a whole six-month thing, bro. And, like, even when I got past that six months, I was significantly smaller and significantly less, like, proportion. And you still just felt, like, weird, bro. You don't want to get you don't want to get severely injured, man. Especially, like, prime time of your life. Shit, no. You're like, dude, it's going to throw you off mentally. It's going to throw you off. Like, you you're making content is not going to be the same. Exactly, dude. You know, I mean, it would, just like it watching so much, bro. Watching Colin go through that. Um, I mean, he did wait way too long to get it done. <laughs> but at the same time, he hasn't hit legs in six months because he tore his ACL. <laughs> and then, you know, he couldn't go to work. Um, it limited him for videos. We had to work around that. It's just like, 
Injuries suck, bro. Yeah, it kind of changes your life in a way. Yeah, it does. And I'm just like super grateful that I've never had a serious injury. I still um, live different. I still like do things, some certain things lopsided. And sometimes I still think that like I get more, um, I get more strain on this side because I think it just like naturally takes over. Yeah. If I'm not thinking about it throughout the whole entire like the whole throughout the whole set. Like I'll be pushing harder with this side than my right, and sometimes even just like the 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 range of motion on each arm differs. And I don't mean to do it; it's just like it's weird, bro. You know, I I don't know what it feels like to have two normal pecs again. I keep yapping about my pec there, yo. This is gonna be clipped and clipped and clipped, but oh no, the compilation. Yeah. In a co- in probably in a couple weeks, yeah. I think we have at least ten mentions of it so far, and um, it oh, it's gonna go crazy. Tally it up. Can we get a peck tear count counter? We could. We should Ant, get a peck tear get an counter. Ant on that. Every every time you mention it, it just pops on the screen. It's like oh, we're at thirteen now. Yep. <laughs> no, I mean it was a pretty. That's good. It's um, we get it. You have a boring life, and that was like probably the most eventful thing that ever happened. So <laughs> you should talk about it. You should bring it up more. Bro, I didn't even want to get surgery, man. <laughs> I didn't want to get surgery. I've talked about it too that, much. I probably dumb. hit everything. Yeah, nah. Well, no, no, of course it was, but I was kind of hoping it would recover on its own. Mm -hmm. I remember, like, actually starting to lift again before it was actually fixed. And I was like, oh, maybe I can, like, everything's feeling better. I'm gaining back mobility. And then I went after I got my MRI, and they're like, yeah, shit sucks, bro, but (laughs) your shit's ruined. I'm like, so I can't recover? No. I'm like, I'm going to need CS. I'm like, went tomorrow. Damn. Yeah, dude. I'm not ready. Yeah, no, he was like, tomorrow, we can do it tomorrow. I was like, "Uh." me thinking, like, going into the appointment finding all out i was like hoping to walk out of there and be like yo you do some of this you know help heal it up and be good surgery is not necessary no it was like so you saw i'm like no what do you mean he's like yeah he's like uh it's pretty bad surgery too i'm like damn what's that even mean bro this is my pec <laughs> i didn't tear my leg didn't tear my hamstring didn't tear my quad like why what do you mean it's a bad surgery and it was, bro. I had like a numbing mechanism. I was in a cast, took fucking pain pain meds. The whole week I was just sitting on a couch, bedridden. Yeah. It's kind of sucked. Um, but done, yeah, I probably talked about that. I, I keep thinking about already. the competition, man. I just want to I just want to do another one already because we did the race. and that. that dude, we fun. should run a marathon. Oh, hell no, man. <laughs> I wouldn't even race you in a mile. Like a, a mile? mile? I would do a mile, but like beyond that, bro, I'm not a runner, bro. I've never been distance. Just like not fun, bro. Me neither. Uh, for one of my YouTube videos. Not for a race, at least. Like I feel like I could slow jog and run yeah. for a while, but to or, actually uh, race, man, that's miserable. I, th- I did the Marines test um, for one of my YouTube videos, and I did three miles, and I was like, damn, this sucks. Three miles? Yeah, it, yeah. I couldn't have picked the worst day to do it, man. I was, I was coming. It was like right up to Christmas, so it was like cold. And I was sick, like, the whole time my nose was stuffed, and it was just, like, started dripping. And it's like, I had to constantly, like, spit loogies yeah, the whole time. Yeah, yeah, that's but, the worst. I mean, I still did it. I still did it in the time I was supposed to. I can't remember what it was. It was, like, 21. It was, or, no, I don't think it was a seven-minute pace. I think it was 24. It was, like, an eight-minute pace. It's pretty solid. That's actually solid, though. I mean, for I, my for, in my books, man, that's pretty good. I think, right, I could look it up, but I think it was, like, 24 minutes. Like, for someone that doesn't, like, do that all the time, like, I'd say eight-minute pace for three miles is pretty good. I'd be know. happy with that for myself. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Once again, guys, Somewhere comment around. a competition that we could work for or we could work towards. Back, so. And we're going to go head-to-head. Yeah, we could do another competition, yeah. a friendly competition. And if it's an advantage towards Luke, that's fine because I knew I had him in the race. It nah, was, it, you it was never a doubt. You knew it you was, had me. You weren't sure. It was never a doubt of my mind. Mm. Dude, I can't wait for that episode to come out because I just want to see the clip. Uh. I want to post the clip, and I just want to talk my shit. Yep. Yeah, don't, don't, don't roast me on my running form, guys. I haven't ran since. <laughs> me neither. I think yeah. my strides were too long. That's why I, like, I think I just say, like, I straight up into this t- too much high breaks than it or something. Yeah, there was no sprinting prior to that that day. Like I literally was like, "All right, let's see what I got," and I just like ran my ass off, bro. I just ran as fast as I could, and oh yeah, that's it. No, oh, fun fact: I don't know if you got you guys will see that footage, but we tried going the night before to the track, and there the lights turn off at nine o'clock apparently, and Norlo told that us that at the last second, so we got there like. <laughs> 8.45, we're setting up all the cameras. We are at the starting line. They're about to count us down, and the lights just shut off. Dude, you can't make that shit up, bro. Yeah, and dude, it looked dope under the lights, too. Mm-hmm. 
I know, running at night versus like when yeah. we did it during the day, it would have been a lot more cinematic. It was sick. But I don't know, man. You could have just worked out better for you. You might not have won that la- that that night race. So. Oh no. Uh, next time I could probably give you a shot. Let you take off a little <laughs> That's early. That's funny, man. You're never catching me. I don't know, cause like I knew, cause I'm just I'm so hot off the jump. You are fast off the line, bro. But that's really why quick. I got great jumps. Uh, talk about baseball. I'm not trying to hide myself up. But, like, one thing I was good at was, um, like, defense and base running, right? Um, I got that's a- what I was better at. You got pissed? Yeah, badly. You know what would be fun? I was just thinking about it during my stream. Um, streaming. Like, streaming. IRL. Like, not actually getting into it, but I want to, like, do it one day. I don't know why. Like, I've seen the IRL streamers, and I don't think I ever keep up with the youngings, man. Like, they're clip farming and all this shit nowadays, um, doing whatever it takes to go viral, pretty much. But something about, like, having someone that follow us around real time, live, like, I think that would be a lot of fun. We have to do that for the one time, at least. Like, in a city or something. If we go to L.A., I mean, I don't know. I know the preparation's crazy. Like, you definitely need, like, legit shit, but I'm definitely, it's definitely enticing, like I'm definitely like on a streaming platform or like TikTok live type. I don't know. It's not tomorrow, but it's not a tomorrow thing. But tell me that wouldn't be fun, bro. Like, I don't know. I think it would. It would then, be fun. I'm just trying to think of like everybody that's popular in IRL streaming. They are just a lot. They they are constantly trying to go for them horror clips. I don't know if we got that in us. That's what I'm saying though. But like, maybe we just see how it goes. You ever watch the Practical Jokers? Yes. I was also thinking about that while you were in the bathroom. And I thought... Like, mic'd up, yeah. IRL pranks. Would you be able to do that? Yes. I don't know how long I can keep a prank going on just, like, a random person because I'm just, like, I feel bad really quick. Like, oh, my God, no, no, no it's a joke, like, 10 seconds in. Facts. But if I knew it was for content and I picked someone that I felt like I wasn't ruining their day... Before, like, telling them it's a joke, yeah. I think I could do it. We should just do, like, one long-form video. We don't have to make it, like, you know, keep doing it. But, like, one long-form video, just, like, practical jokers inside gym. Dude, they, it would be exhilarating, though, because I'd be so, like, yeah. nervous and shit. Like people would get it. But I was telling Luke this the other day. It's like, dude, you should wear the polo, you know, have a cameraman from a four and just get genuine reactions of you being a dick gym employee. I know, man. Like, when people walk in... Like, any gym, they, they think you're actually worked there because, like, I don't know, you just have to set up the freaking lanyard and everything. Like yeah. You should just get genuine, genuine reactions. I think that would be funny. That would be funny. I mean, if, I, like, if I had, like, someone filming me from afar and I knew it was a legit thing, I could do it. But I couldn't do it for no reason, obviously. Like, I'd have to know, like, okay, like, I'm in, I'm in content mode. Yeah. But most of the time, like, I can't take myself – um, I can't take myself serious, bro. Like, I'm very, like – I could put it on. I could put it on for the camera, but like when it's not on, like when the camera's not on, bro, I'm not. I can't do it. Like I don't know. You even see it. You even see me like p- preparing for like just filming my skits. I don't even know how to tell you what I'm gonna say until like the camera's rolling in. It's just like I, I snap tunnel vision. Like I know what to do. Yeah. But prior to that, when I'm like being serious, I can't <laughs> in seriousness tell you what I'm gonna do because like. It's so non-serious. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I can't, I can't take myself serious like that. I get that. So, I don't know. But those are definitely things. Like, that would be fun. I think that's something we could definitely do before, like, trying to attempt being an IRL live streamer. Not, like, <laughs> actually be a live streamer. Just do it for the one time. See how we like it. Just see how, like, just experience it. But I would love to do, like, an Impractical Joker style thing one day. Like, at, like not in my own state, though. Yeah. No, I think being out of your own state makes yeah. you more comfortable. Exactly. And spe- we can't do it at our gym because everybody would know us. It wouldn't yeah. even make sense. Also, we just need to find like two special guests to do it with. Yeah. Like have like do. Yes. That would be fun. Not just me and you. You're saying like yeah. get more people, get, get another dude or two in it. That'd be fun. I'm down. Maybe one of our next upcoming trips, we mic up and we go for it. Let's do it. I'd do it. I think it'd be fun. I'd do it. I'd do it. I think people would eat that <laughs> shit up too. Like real live reactions. Oh, for sure. <sighs> but um, yeah. I don't know. What time we got? It. What time's your flight? So it is currently three thirty, and I have a flight that departs at five thirty, and we're an hour away from the airport. So we're yeah, probably gonna have to call. Up. Probably gonna have to wrap up this pod, guys. Yes, we will, guys. Right here on the table, wide angle, boom. There we go, wide angle. Right here, we got our ghost supplements in front of us. 
Um, we take all of this. We definitely you take creatine every day. I don't. This dude, I don't. I don't miss a day of creatine, bro. He really doesn't. Size. He has money with his creatine. I'll yes. say that. I that's I packed that before my pre. I didn't pack pre. I only packed my size because I was trying to pack light. Yeah. Um. I never go a day. Five grams a day. Keep the doctor away, man. Yep. Um, but best supplements of the game. Yes, sir. Ghost lifestyle. They have anything you're looking for. Amazing protein. Amazing pre. Amazing pump. Energy drinks, y'all should already know about this. If y'all don't know anything about the supplements, I'm sure y'all came across Greens. energy drinks. Yep. We talk about it enough. But, hey, if you ever want to save some money, 20% off, go supplements using code GYMBRO or, or code Shreds. Yes, sir. And then right here, we also got our Helo Mix. Been with, we both been with Helo Mix for a long time now. Um, best shakers in the game. That's hands down. A fact. I don't, I don't yeah. think there's another popular shaker brand like Div, but... No I, other shaker brand has evolved. Um, that's what all my ghost supplements go inside. So, as well, Halo Mix, save you some money. Code? Jim Bro. Or? Code Shreds. Yes, sir. But, uh, yeah, guys, like I said, here in Louisiana, Luke, I hope you enjoyed your time here. I had a great time, man. I'm actually, like, I, I honestly enjoyed my time more than I expected, in a sense. You'd come back? I'd come back. 100%. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have some activities. We might have – might I don't know. Let us – guys, let us know if you liked the vlog before this. I know it's different because it was just us. We didn't have a guest. We, we It wasn't a workout vlog, okay? So let us know what you think of, like, more of the lifestyle-type vlogs, right? Yeah. Yeah, let us know because, yeah. like, we did some cool shit. Hopefully the shooting makes – like, the guns and the shooting makes it onto the YouTube. I know how platforms could be with right, guns yeah. and whatnot, so – We'll see that, and also, what else did we did? We did the race, and that was just a little friendly competition that we were hyping up for you guys. So, yeah. if you like seeing stuff like that, at like you know, not just always lifting vlogs, let us know. I mean, we love all your guys' feedback. Yeah. So if you guys made it this far, I just want whichever one you want to do, but three dangs. I'm gonna ask from y'all. Did y'all like the vlog? Did y'all like that type of style? Who do y'all want to see next? Also, what kind yep. of competition can me and Luke get into? So we can entertain you guys. But um, other than that, man, he has a flight to catch. I got to kick him out. It's about time he gets out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Dude's living here rent-free. Drinking so, uh, all of his energy drinks, stealing all of his inventory. It's great, <laughs> man. I love it. Take us out, man. That's Thinking with a Pump, guys. All right? Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned next week for the next one. All right? Here. Thinking with a Pump out. Rowdy. <laughs>